Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're having a great day. Good day here. The sun's out, so that's always nice. Having a pretty productive day, which is always good. I like to have a productive day. Um, I don't mind having days off, but I would rather have a productive day. I always feel better after it. Did a great workout earlier today. I'm doing uh, the Body Beast program again, and uh, part of it is tempo training. So basically it's um, three sets of each exercise and um, you're just playing with the timing of the reps. So you do your first set, you do 15 reps and you go six counts positive, six counts negative. So by that I mean if you're doing a chest press, when you're pushing out and the muscle is getting shorter, that's when that's the positive part of it. When you're coming back and the chest muscle is lengthening, that's a negative. So the first set is 15 reps, slow in both directions. The second set you get heavier weights and you go um, three counts positive and then six counts negative. And then the third set you go even heavier for eight reps, three counts positive, three counts negative. Anyways, it's an awesome workout. I'm like shaking the whole way through and it just feels so good. I love it. <laughs> I love strength training though. Hey Richard, how's it going? So, hey Paula, how are you? I'd love to see you again sometime. So, um, Lately, I've been uh, hearing a lot about essential oils, and it's not completely new to me. Um, I, I have used essential oils before. Um, it was back when I was going through um, some bad depression and anxiety, and I was um, having more regular panic attacks and that kind of thing, so I thought, you know, I need to do something. And I talked to the natural pharmacist, and we talked about essential oils and uh, aromatherapy and all that. So that was kind of my introduction to it. And I used them, and uh, it definitely helped. Uh, it's amazing how scent affects us. Um, so that was, you know, a good thing for me to, to try out at the time. But I hadn't really thought about it since then, and it just seems like lately, like everyone's talking about essential oils. So I thought, you know, I'm going to look a little bit more into this. So anytime I'm interested in something, I like to do a little research into it, find out more about it, and share it with you. Um, I didn't have a lot of time to look into it today, so I just kind of looked at the basics. I'll just share the basics with you that I that I saw. Hey, Jason. Hi, Teresa. Um, so first of all, how does scent affect our brain? So why, why does it have the effect that it does? So super simple explanation is when you smell something. Um, the scent goes through your olfactory bulb, which is... Um, connected with um, the part of your brain that's responsible for emotion and memories. So that's why when you smell a certain thing, sometimes that takes you back to a certain time um, and you feel you might feel a certain emotion, you don't really understand why you're feeling that emotion and it's because of that smell and that connection with your brain. Um, and if you're feeling stressed or, or anxious, there are certain smells that might make you feel calmer and that might be because it was something that you smelled during a time where you felt calm and safe or um, there's also certain scents that do have that effect on most people, like uh, uh, lavender for one. Um, that's a good one to, to use to help you um, to help you sleep. Actually, actually, I've used that before as well. Um, so science has discovered that scents can actually influence the biochemistry of your nervous system. So you, this, you know, it's a real thing. Scientists are are studying it. <laughs> so and it is really interesting. You know how you smell something, and all of a sudden you're like brought back to this, you know, memory, or you don't even really remember the memory, but you remember the feeling of it. So it's, uh, it's pretty cool. So essential oils, um, basically, they are naturally occurring um, volatile uh, aromatic compounds and they're found in plants. And by volatile, all that means is that um, they quickly go from solid or liquid form into a gas when at room temperature. So that's why when you open a bottle of essential oils, it smells really strong it's because it's turning into a gas really quickly. So um, they've done research, and they have proven that um, it's beneficial for things such as improving mood, which um, I experienced myself, um, alleviating stress, another one that I experienced, um, improving sleep, relieving nausea, uh, relieving pain, improving your memory, and even increasing your energy. And um, I, I find that with some sense, I'll smell it, and I kind of feel like a little bit more energized. Um, and it's interesting, because at the beginning of my classes that I teach, I always ask, you know, hey, how's everyone doing? And 100% every time, at least one person says, tired. <laughs> so, but by the end of it, when I ask them how they're feeling, they're feeling energized and great. So I was thinking, you know, if they could come into the studio and there's a scent that makes them feel energized right from the get-go, how cool would that be? So I think that might be something I'm going to look into adding to my studio. So how do you use essential oils? Um, there's a few different ways. So um, you can put some drops on a diffuser, which is what I'm thinking about doing in my studio, see, see what that does. 
Um, you can also massage it into your skin. Uh, just be careful, they are very concentrated, so if you have sensitive skin, um, you're going to want to be careful with that. Um, you can massage it onto pulse points to be used as a perfume, so a good alternative to perfumes that might have irritating substances in them. Uh, put a few drops in your bath water, so that's what I did when I was um, going through my depression and I was trying to use aromatherapy, as I would get in a bath and put drops of, of oil in, and um, it, was very, it was a very calming, nice experience. Um, also, as a dietary supplement, but take note, um, only consume essential oils that are of clinical grade, not the therapeutic grade. So the therapeutic grade um, oil should not be ingested. Um, I'm going to leave a link on my blog where you can kind of check out a little bit more about that in case you're curious. So yeah, don't go buying a bottle of essential oil from anywhere and just drinking it because that could be bad news. Um, I'm sure some of you have tried oil of oregano for flu. Um, I, I like to use that a couple of drops in water. Um, that's one that that's, uh, um, most of us have probably ingested before. And that, I think it actually works quite well. I, I use that every time I start to get a cold. Um, and then some other uses for essential oils. So um, a cleaning spray. And I actually use tea tree oil in water to clean my studio equipment. Um, it cleans it up quite nice. It has a good scent. Um, it's not going to damage the equipment. It's not corrosive or anything like that. So that's a great um, cleaning alternative. Um, hey, Peggy Sue, how's it going? Hi, Maria. Um, room deodorizer. So like I was saying, put, putting some on the diffuser um, to deodorize the room or even put some drops in some water and kind of spray that around the room for a deodorizer. Um, homemade soaps and lotions. So if, if you're making your own soaps and lotions, um, great way to scent it. Just uh, be careful with the amount that you use because, again, it is concentrated. So you don't want your uh, soaps and lotions to irritate your skin or your, your customer's skin. Um, and actually for skin care, tea tree oil is actually good for um, treating pimples. So I um, found that interesting. And insect repellents. And I used to love, uh, my sister does an insect repellent and she uses a bunch of um, citrus uh, um, type was not sure exactly what the recipe is, but it works so good. And like, it smells good to us, but bugs hate citrus. So good natural alternative to um, those other chemical bug sprays. So those were the things that I, I found that I, I thought I would share with you. Um, I'm going to look more into it, do some more studying. I just didn't have enough time today, but um, it's definitely worth looking into. Um, you know, essential oils have the power to enhance your physical and your mental health, and it's a chemical-free way to do that, so I'm always all over that. Um, just make sure that if you are going to look into this, you look for a high-quality oil. So it needs to be 100% essential oil, meaning that it hasn't been mixed or diluted with anything that might be toxic, that might be an irritant, so you have to make sure that it is 100%. Um, if you are going to be ingesting it, clinical grade, has to be clinical grade. Um, and if you're not sure of, of the oil, um, the price is, is really a big clue. So if you find an essential oil that's super cheap, chances are it's uh, not very good quality. So this is one area where, you know, you, you don't want to spend um, less money on to save a few bucks. You know, this is your health that you're looking at. So you want to have, you know, pure quality stuff for sure. So I hope that you found that interesting. If you have any comments to add or questions, please feel free to post. Um, I'm always open to learning more stuff and answering any questions that I can. Um, I gotta go and clean up the studio a little bit so that we're ready for the evening class. So you guys have an awesome evening and I will talk to you again tomorrow.